Hey y'all. Um, welcome to Cammy's Cam. And as you can see, my mood is like totally different. I don't, I'm just not in a good mood. So, this is just an update. Um, I've been crying, so that's why my eyes are kind of swollen. But this is just an update going along my journey. Um, I'm pretty upset. Because I had a fertility appointment today. And you know, all of this stuff, I already kind of know what's going on. I already kind of know pretty much everything. But you know, just to hear it from the doctor and just to talk about it and be reminded and going forward. I do feel defeated. I like feel so defeated. And I feel like, like sometimes I say, why me? You know? So I went to my follow-up appointment today after my HSG appointment. <clears throat> the good news that I did get is that my cl my tubes are cleared. My tubes are clear. You know, I have no blockage, no scarring. They said my my tube my tubes are perfectly normal. My um, fallopian tubes. So I was I was excited to hear that. Even though I already knew, but I wanted to hear from her in detail. But she said everything was normal, perfectly clear, perfectly clear. Um, I was happy to hear that. My husband was happy to hear that. His test came back normal and clear, which, of course, I already knew, so I was excited to hear that from her. <clears throat> However, she told me that I do have PCOS um, because my labs came back, and pretty much that's what it showed. I have a few things that signed me up for that PCOS, um, so... That's pretty much why I'm defeated. She said my AMH level was off. Testosterone level was off. But my FSH level, she said, was good. So my egg quality is good. But um, I do have PCOS. And, you know, you don't think something, I wouldn't say simple, but, you know, you wouldn't think something that is kind of common would hurt so much. But it does hurt. Like, it hurts. And it hurts so much because it bothers me with it, it messes, I feel like it messes me up with my process of trying to get pregnant, basically. You know, it messes with, it's, it doesn't just mess with my body with that. It messes with my cycles, messes with my hormones. It just, it just messes me up, so, sorry, y'all. So, yeah, I just feel defeated right now. So basically, she went over our options, being that all of that is said, and we've already tried over six months with Vamira. Um, so my, my options were, one, to continue just playing Vamira, which I've already done, so that's pretty much not an option no more. I mean, it's possible that I, c I can do it if I want to, but, you know, if you just keep doing the same thing, sometimes you don't, you're just going to get the same results. My second option would be to have a mirror with the IUI. And IUI is when they basically take his semen, wash it, clean it up, and then just ins they um, have a procedure where they insert it close to my cervix. Um, and the last option would be IVF. And IVF, they, she said she wouldn't consider that unless I probably done like three cycles of IUI. So basically, we're stuck on IUI, and I just feel so defeated. I mean, I know God put people in help. He put people in places to help you, but I just feel defeated in the fact that I'm a woman. And my body, it can't do exactly what it should do, or either, I don't know if I'm rushing it. But I feel like, you know, we've been married for two years, and... I would say we tried a few months, but we have never not tried, except for maybe three months after we got married. But after that, you know, we just been going and there's nothing happening, and I hate that feeling, you know? When you want something so bad, and I feel like it's something you're made to do, and it just doesn't come. And it's depressing when all of your friends... What seems like everyone around you is getting that same thing you want. And it's like, what am I doing so bad to where I can't get it? And I feel like 
almost feel like a failure even though I know I'm not but it just sucks because I can't even give my husband something he wants and he doesn't understand how I feel he doesn't I mean he, he just doesn't get it he thinks he doesn't like to see me cry about it because he says crying isn't going to change anything I mean I know it's not going to change anything but it just hurts like it hurts and it and it depresses me it stresses me out and I know it's not good so I'm just trying to get it all out now because I feel like when I get it out I'll be good so I'm just trying to get it out and I hate that I'm doing this on camera but you know I know it's just not me that goes through this you know I know some of y'all are going through the same thing and I pray that it gets better for y'all and I pray it gets better for me I pray that you know it just happens when it's supposed to happen even though I want it to be now, but it's not my timing, God. I know it's your timing, so I just got to deal with it. Keep faith and stop worrying. And what also sucks is that this stuff costs so much. You know, insurance, like 90% of people's insurance do not cover um, fertility, which sucks because infertility is not something we ask for as women. And insurance doesn't help. So that's another stressor is that you have to save up money so much money to be able to afford the things in order to try to conceive, you know? Because IUI on this paper, it says it can be $1,200. IVF in itself can be like 6000 or 14000 but either way, that's a lot of money. And that's not even, you know, it's not even a true thing that you're going to get pregnant. It's a possibility. You know, everybody doesn't get pregnant off of the first try with that thing, with those things. So, you know, it's stressful. It's so stressful to be in this situation. To say that you have PCOS, then to say that my body, it, on, this, on another tip, my body supposedly doesn't even ovulate on its own. So even if I was to try naturally or just didn't try at all. I probably wouldn't have any chances because my body supposedly does not ovulate on its own. So you got that stressor. I I have that stressor. My body's not doing that. And then when I take the pill, I have then I have to take pills to make my body ovulate. That's another stressor. I have to buy medicine. I have to buy fertility pills. I have to we have to pay for these treatments. I have to time my intercourse like I really don't care to do that. I'd rather just, you know, just love on my husband like I'm supposed to, you know, without forcing things. But it's almost like things are forced when you're, when your body is forced to do things a certain way because it's not, you know, it's not like the average woman. So, it just sucks, y'all. It just really sucks. <laughs> And I'm just trying to get it out because I feel so defeated. I feel so defeated and drained. I feel emotionally drained, mentally drained. I just feel stressed. And I just, I don't know what to do about it. And it's more stressful because, yes, my next step is IUI. However, I'm a nurse. I'm supposed to be starting a new job. And supposedly the day that... I'm supposed to get an IUI treatment, the actual procedure done. It's probably on the first day that the job is supposed to start. And, you know, that's not good because, like, who you can't call out on your first day of work. You know, nobody's going to understand. Nobody understands what you're going through. <laughs> and, you know, even if I were to tell them in advance, I don't think they would understand. And it would look bad on me. However, I need a job because I have to provide for my family. I have to be able to pay for these treatments. I have to be able to help help my husband for when we do get pregnant. I have to be able to have money to take care of my child. So, it just sucks, y'all. It just, it just really sucks. And, you know... God made me special, so all of this is for a reason. I just, I believe I'm going to have a 
the testimony after it's all said and done. I believe I have a testimony as of now, but I just I just feel so defeated. And I just have to vent, and I guess I'm just venting to my camera. My husband just went to um, the gym, so I just have to vent it out and get it out of my system. So, you know, I just don't know what to do next. I don't know if we should go for the IUI now or just wait. But, you know, I hate the fact of waiting because I don't want to be 30 and still trying to get pregnant. I want to I wanna have at least one child before I'm 30, if not two. And, you know, my clock is ticking. And, yes, my husband says we should maybe consider just waiting until we build up our money. But I feel like you're never going to be prepared for something. You're never going to have enough money. You know, and I feel like it's well, he didn't necessarily say for the money, but for the job, too. He said, Well, maybe just wait till after you've been there a while. But you know, my orientation at my job lasts six months, and that's a long that's a long wait. And then you still have three months of a period to where you shouldn't call out, so that's a long time to wait. And it's not that I'm trying to call out, but I need to be off for these procedures and the appointments. And I need a job or a manager that's understanding. And if it's a ma if it's a manager that's a man, they're probably really not going to be understanding. So I just don't know what to do. Because for, it's like the job is messing me up with the procedure I need. Money is messing me up with the procedure I need. The stress is probably messing my body up. Which I shouldn't be stressing. Which is why I'm just trying to get it out now. Um, so. I just don't know, guys. So, just pray for me. Yeah, I'm still doing, I'm still doing my, I talked to the fertility specialist today about those teas. Um, she said I really didn't need to take them because, you know, my tubes are clear. And she did look it up. She said Live Strong is a good website. And they were on there. But she said I really didn't need to use them because my my tubes, my fallopian tubes were clear. Um, she said if you are going to use them, just make sure you stop whenever you do get pregnant. So <clears throat> that's the advice she gave me. She said pre-seed is not really needed unless you just need it as a lube. But she said it doesn't really help with fertility for say. She said it's basically just a lube, I guess, for if you need, if you have to have a lube, then that's just, that's the one you should buy. So, I'm going to save my money because every dollar I need, I can save. So, I don't need lube. I was only using it because I thought it helps you get pregnant, but it technically does not help you. So, that stuff is expensive, so I'm just going to stop that. I just don't, I just don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep it moving and... I don't know. Just do what I feel God is telling me to do and things will work out. You know, God has his purpose. And I'm just going to go for the ride, whatever his purpose is. Whatever his means are, whatever he wants to give me. I'm just going to give it to him, you know. I'm just going to give it all to God. So yeah, baby, that's to you all. Sorry I'm so sad in this video. Sorry I'm coming to y'all looking a mess. Um, I just got home from the doctor's office. And I didn't want to cry in front of my husband because he probably gets tired of seeing me stressed out. And I'm trying not. It's just so bad because, you know, the woman is stressed out. But, you know, I don't know what a man's going through. He said, how do you know it doesn't affect me? But I, I know it affects him, but I don't know to what extent because he doesn't show his emotions. And I don't want to keep crying in front of him. I don't want to keep, you know, letting think everything out on him because I don't want to stress him out. So I guess this is why I'm just coming here. He doesn't really watch my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. I wish baby dust to all of you all. Make sure to like and comment, and make sure you subscribe to this channel to follow my journey. Um, help me help you, and y'all help me, please. Talk to y'all later.
Bye.